the angular momentum of an electron in nth orbit is an integral multiple of h so basically mvr is equal to nh by 2 pi and this n is actually integer so yes this is correct okay so as mentioned here mvr equals nh by 2 pi so this is true next nuclear forces do not obey inverse square law yes that's clear that's correct nuclear forces now if you see and this is a nucleus and these are you know two like nucleons maybe you know so proton and neutron now if they get separated okay if the neutron and proton you know they become separated it's not that the force is going to decrease okay so they do not in follow the inverse square law in fact the strong nuclear forces increase in magnitude with distance up to a set limit in fact they, they you know it can even increase also if the uh, distance becomes more so they do not obey, obey this is also true next nuclear forces are spin dependent yes that is also true it is spin dependent but it is charge independent okay so this is true okay now uh, so yes this is uh, spin dependent now what is the meaning of spin so basically the nucleons or especially the proton uh, it spins you know neutrons also so if you can see here the proton is composed of quarks it's not there like too much in the syllabus but still we can get an idea of it that uh, the proton is composed of plus 2 by 3 e plus plus 2 by 3 e plus and minus 1 by 3 you know so this is e minus what do you write plus 1 by 3 e minus so therefore all three becomes actually e plus whereas neutron is composed of plus 2 by 3 e plus and minus 1 by 3 or 1 by 3 e minus 1 by 3 e minus so therefore the total charge is zero so uh, there is spinning you know you can see here that uh, you know it's mentioned here it is shown as positive you know, like upward and downward so these are the spinning states so therefore yes there is spinning happening in the nucleons in the nucleus and the nuclear forces they are spin dependent okay uh, if uh, okay they are spin dependent right? here is also mentioned if the spin is parallel then the nuclear force is stronger if, and it is weak if the if the spin is anti parallel let us go ahead nuclear forces are central and charge independent yes it is charge independent okay as we can see here this is charge independent yes because uh, neutron also exerts nuclear force proton also exerts nuclear force so therefore nuclear has neutron has zero charge so therefore it is charge independent this is also true but nuclear forces are central this is false it is a non-central force that means it does not depend on the distance between the particles but rather upon their orientation okay so it, it it hardly depends you know we saw here that it is not obeying inverse square law so basically it you know the distance between the neutrons or the distance between the protons it you know it, it hardly it may matter a little bit but it hardly matters so they are central this is false this is false and in the end uh, stability of nucleus is inversely proportional to the value of packing fraction so what is the value what is what is uh, packing fraction packing fraction is minus delta m divided by m so what is uh, delta m delta m is the uh, delta m is the binding edge of the mass defect you know the mass defect which is happening okay so divided by m this is actually the, the in the packing fraction so stability of nucleus is inversely proportional to the value of packing fraction yes this is true the negative value or packing fraction indicates that the isotope is stable positive value of packing fraction implies unstable nucleus the stability of the nucleus is inversely proportional to the value of the packing fraction so this is also true so at the end only this is false so therefore a b c and e are true so therefore c is the answer thank you